Hello everybody, today we're going to be covering factorization of cubic functions. Now, there's two ways to factorize a cubic function. We have the kx method, which was covered in another video, and we have the method that we're going to be doing in this video, which is long division. Now, in both methods, we need to guess a number that works. What I mean by that is we need to guess a value of x that makes this side of the equation equal to zero. The guessing process may take a while, but for the purposes of this video, I will use a number that I know works. So I'm going to guess minus one. So first I'll check that it works. I will put minus one where x is. So x cubed becomes minus one cubed plus 9x squared becomes minus 1 squared minus 12 times minus 1 minus 20 and this is equal to minus 1 cubed is minus 1 minus 1 squared is positive 1 so that becomes a plus 9 minus 12 times minus 1 is positive 12 and minus 20 does not change and this is equal to 8 plus 12 minus 20 which is equal to 0 so minus 1 does work and what that means is x plus 1 is a factor now, why x plus 1? It's because if we had the factorized version, we would have this bracket and something else, and something else possibly is equal to 0. So, if I know minus 1 works, x plus 1, if I put a minus 1 in here, this bracket becomes 0. And this is all multiplied together because we factorized it, so this whole side becomes 0, which is what we want it to be. So x plus 1 is going to be in our solution. That step was the same for both methods. Now with this method is what we do with that bracket. With that bracket, what we do is, as the name suggests, we divide it out of our original equation. And we will do that long division. Now, uh, long division with algebra follows the same rules as long division with normal numbers. So let's do a quick recap of regular long division. We will leave that up there for now. Okay, let's divide 3 into 562. Now, we're going to use the long division rules, which are daddy, mommy, sister, brother, which is just the easy way to remember it, which stands for divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So let's do this real quickly. First we divide, so we say 3 into 5 goes once. Then I multiply, say 1 times 3 is 3. Then I subtract, and then I put 2, and then I bring down the next number. And now I start again. 3 into 26, it goes 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24. Now I subtract to get 2, and now I bring down the next number, which is a 2. So now I start all over again. I say 3 into 22 is 7 times. 7 times 3 is 21. Subtract 1. There's nothing to bring down, so I have a remainder of 1. When we are doing our algebraic division over here, we are not going to have a remainder because we already know that x plus 1 works because we guessed it and we verified that it was true. So let's try the algebraic expression now. So this is how we're going to do algebraic long division. We're going to say x plus 1 into this, but I don't know how many that goes in. So what we use is the highest powers of each thing. So the highest power of x plus 1 is the x, so it's 1. And the highest power here is the x cubed term. So I'm going to say, how many times does x go into x cubed? And I'm going to say that is x squared times, because if I said x cubed divided by x, I'd get x squared. So we have already done division. Now we're going to do multiplication. So I'm going to say x squared times x plus 1. We do use the plus 1 now. So we say x squared times x plus 1. And we get x cubed plus x squared. Now we do our division. Now we do our subtraction. And we end up with 
9x squared minus x squared is equal to 8x squared. And then we do our last step. We bring down minus 12x. Now we start the process again. We have to divide. So the highest power here is the x term, and the highest power term here is 8x squared. So how many times does x go into 8x squared? It goes in plus 8x times, because 8x squared divided by x gives me 8x. So I've done my, my division, and now I need to multiply 8x times x plus 1, so that gives me 8x squared plus 8x. And we subtract now. These cancel out as we expect. And minus 12 minus 8 gives me minus 20x. And we bring down our last number. And we start the process again. x into minus 20x gives me minus 20. Now I multiply and end up with minus 20x minus 20 and this is a 0 and there is nothing to bring down and we are done so what we have here is that we say x plus 1 goes into x cubed plus 9x squared minus 12x minus 20 this many times so x squared plus 8x minus 20 times so if I said this times this I must get this and that is what we need to factorize. So we, now we can write our original equation was x cubed minus 9x squared minus 12x minus 20 is equal to 0. Now that is now this expression because we have this times this must equal to this. And now we've started the factorization process. So just to complete the factorization, we're going to have to factorize this last bracket over here. So this factorized gives me x plus 1, x plus 10, x minus 2 is all equal to 0. And now we have our solutions. We have our solutions of x is equal to minus 1, or x is equal to minus 10, or x is equal to 2. So with a cubic function, we can get a maximum of three solutions. We can get less than three solutions if one of these brackets was squared, and then we'd end up with two solutions because one of the solutions would be repeated. I hope you all now understand how to factorize cubic function using long division. Long division can also be used for expressions with higher powers than three and dividing by higher powers of one. Feel free to look at the other video where you learn how to do it with the kx method, which you will see there. Happy studying!